Hey, it's Ryan with Parts Doctor, and today I'm going to show you how to install this LG dishwasher. We'll need a few different tools for the job. We'll leave those listed in the description below. Let's get started. With most dishwashers, they do not include a water supply line or power cord because they vary depending on each application. We'll leave a link in the description below to the two parts that we're using for installing the dishwasher. In some applications, you may not need a power cord because the electrical connection is hardwired from the house. Also, always use a new water line anytime you're installing a dishwasher. Never reuse an old one. Please reference your dishwasher's owner's manual or installation instructions for what is required or suggested for your dishwasher. Some installation parts are universal and some are model specific. We'll start by preparing the cabinet for the plumbing and electrical. In the quick installation guide, there's a whole location template that we'll use for the water line and power cord. If you're replacing a dishwasher or your cabinet already has holes like ours, reference the template to ensure the existing holes are within the target location listed in the guide. Otherwise, the supply line and drain hose may get damaged or kinked. If you need to create a hole for the water line and power supply, use a two and a half inch hole saw in the appropriate template to create the opening. Ours already has a hole, so we're gonna skip this step. Now we will drill a hole for the drain hose at the top back of the cabinet. We want this as high up as possible to ensure proper drainage from the dishwasher, prevent siphoning, and to prevent water from the sink from backing up into the dishwasher. We will drill this hole from the inside. With the holes drilled, we can run the water line and power cord through the lower hole. Next, using your tape measure, place the water line six and a half to seven and three quarter inches off the left side of the cabinet and the power cord four and a half inches to six inches off the right side. The two need to be in this location to allow the cords to run under the dishwasher through their appropriate channel. If needed, tape them in place. With the cabinet ready, it's time to prep the dishwasher. Start by removing the packing materials on the inside and untying the twist tie securing the drain hose. If you need additional clearance for your dishwasher under a lower countertop, you can remove the rear shipping brace. We have plenty of room, so we will leave it. Next, remove the two Phillips screws on the lower cover and remove it. Our countertop is made of wood, so we will use the provided metal installation brackets by inserting into the slot on the upper frame and using a pliers to bend and secure in place. Now, carefully slide the dishwasher near the cabinet opening, run the drain hose through the hole near the top of the cabinet, Route the water line and power cord through the channels under the dishwasher. Then push back a few inches. Next, push the machine back a few inches, then reach inside the cabinet to pull the drain hose tight. Repeat this process until the machine is in the desired position. Now, raise the front of the dishwasher by adjusting the legs by using a flat blade screwdriver or pliers until the top is approximately 1 8 inch away from the bottom of the counter. Then raise the rear legs by turning the Phillips screw at the center of the base until the rear is level with the front. Then check the level of the dishwasher by placing the level across the top of the tub. If needed, adjust the front legs. Next, place the level along the front side of the tub to check level. If the rear legs need adjusting, continue turning the screw. Now with everything level, gently close the door to ensure it has clearance and doesn't hit anything. Also, check that the dishwasher is positioned correctly within the opening. Next, use the provided screws and screw them through the holes on the mounting bracket to secure the dishwasher to the countertop. If your countertop is granite, marble, or any other material that may be damaged from drilling, reference your owner's manual for proper instructions. Now install the drain hose by first sliding on the hose clamp, pushing the hose over the fitting, and tightening the clamp. Since our water line has a rubber seal inside the fitting, we don't need to apply any Teflon tape before installing. Next, install the water line onto the dishwasher by threading it onto the copper elbow and tighten down. Then connect the water line to the water supply inside the cabinet. Now remove the Phillips screw on the electrical junction box and remove the cover. Then install the strain relief onto the cord and the dishwasher.
Next, cut the ground wire to allow proper connection. Then using wire knots, tightly twist together the green to green wire, white to white, and black to black. You may need to trim the wires. Now, tuck the wires and reinstall the junction box cover. Now, plug the dishwasher in and turn on the water supply line to check for leaks at the dishwasher and the house. Then, press power on the dishwasher, select turbo, and hit start to ensure it works properly and doesn't have any leaks. If you notice any leaks, Turn off the water supply and disconnect the power immediately until the leak is fixed. Then reinstall the lower cover and the Phillips screws. So that's it for this video. If you have any tips or tricks of your own, let us know in the comments below. And if you like fixing things, please consider subscribing.